Praise the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Apostle Adam Smaji. By the privilege and by divine election called to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to use this medium to celebrate the goodness and the faithfulness of God. I'm sure by now God has been manifesting his goodness in our lives and we've been experiencing the favor of God, the testimonies of his hand in our lives and our family in spite of what we are faced with and what we are going through. We are returning all the glory and the honor to the Most High God. The agenda of the wicked against the church, against humanity, we stand against it as spiritual people, that it shall not stand and it shall not prosper. And one of the agenda of the wicked this end time is to disrupt the preaching of the Word of God, because that is what eventually will lead to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will do anything possible to make sure that the gospel is being preached no matter what. It's what the Bible expects us to do. We are not discouraged. All those who are beloved to us that have gone to be with the Lord, may their soul rest in peace. And we pray that God give us a life, the strength and the grace to keep serving Him, knowing that one day when our time too will come, we will meet them again in the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't lose people in Christ. People pass on to glory. So may their soul rest in peace. And those of us that are alive, we have one purpose for living. One purpose why God is allowing us to remain alive is to preach the gospel, to do His will. I want to use this medium to challenge every one of us to please take this opportunity to be committed to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Join me every Sunday and every other day during the week online to preach the gospel. You hearing the gospel is a blessing. Bringing people around you to hear the gospel is a blessing. Sharing it, tagging a friend, family member is a blessing. By so doing, you are also preaching the gospel. You are making them having access to hearing the word of God because that is what the devil is trying to avoid and to hinder. Particularly if you are in nations where there is lockdown, where churches are not allowed to meet. So the only way we can meet is online and we keep spreading the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ until such a time God will make it possible for us to keep gathering again the time and the will to do so. Please look at Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come this is what the devil is afraid of this gospel must be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come we must do all that we can to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So what is your part? Number one is to listen to the gospel. Make yourself available to hear the word of God. That is your source of strength in the days that we are in. And then number two, tag your friends. Number three, like the page on Facebook. Number four, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Make sure you are a partaker of preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget as you keep doing that, you are joining me in preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that as you do so, may the favor of God rest upon you and upon your family that we will keep preaching the gospel to the world until we will be caught up to meet him in the air. May the peace of God rest with you and increase upon you and your family. And may God keep you alive to do his will and to advance his cause and his purpose in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.